Tenen. All right. Um, this is a very new dripper that just came out maybe in the middle of this year of 2024. Um, this is the ODZ dripper and this came out of Thailand. It uses a conical filter but everyone said that it brews really fast. Right, so let's open this because I just can't wait to show you what, what it looks like. Right, so when you open the packaging, you get this really beautiful dripper. So this is the ODZ dripper. Um, out of the box, it just... Um, this is it. So there's nothing else inside. There is no base, except that there is a writing in here. So... Okay. Material and color. The material. ODZ dripper is made of a type of ceramic called called bone china oh so this is not porcelain it's bone china it has the most strength that is how we are able to produce the thinnest dripper while maintaining the real white and is translucent one of the biggest problems with drip coffee is the bitterness and astringency bitterness comes from decat Diketopiperazines and phenylindines. <laughs> Astringency comes from chlorogenic acid lactones. This occurs due to the long period of brewing. Right. Hence the comment of everyone that this is a very fast brewer. So the solution, it says here, solution with design or dripper with fast flow rate. This allows the brewing to finish faster. Faster brewing makes more under extraction. We recommend using smaller particle size and higher brewing temperature. The end result in your coffee will be intense without bitterness and astringency. Okay, so we are learning a lot from these um, cue cards. With all the informations that they've provided here, this will be a very fast brewer. I, re I like the I like the details on these um, on these things. Here, oh. look at that. So I think it's it's hard to come by an ODZ dripper. Um, we might not have a way to get it here. Maybe easier to order it direct to direct to uh, direct from Thailand okay let me let me call the owner of this trip <laughs> brother hello yo mm. sorry ngayon, ngayon pa lang ako nagsashoot ng ODZ mo ay <laughs> <laughs> magkano magkano kuha mo dito De, rough, rough, three, rough three, estimate three, lang rough estimate around 3 around 3 less three, than 3 2 3 5 nasa ganun ah salamat salamat Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ingat-ingat. All right. So, after that very long conversation, um, there is no way that you can get this here in Manila um, except if you go to Thailand or um, if you order direct from ODZ, um, ODZ account on Instagram, right? The This dripper costs around 3500 to 3600 um, without the base. This is made out of bone china, they said. In order for us to check this, they said that the light should pass through. Ah, it's true. The light really is passing through. All right. Next, um, I want to show you this. This is, um, this is a brand. Money, right? You can this the Monet brand actually creates um, 
a perfect base for for your Odyssey dripper. Um, it cost around 2,000 pesos as well. And it sits perfectly there. And it's really beautiful. Look. It's made out of uh, resin. And they put actual flowers in there. So they're really cute. Um, actually, I, I happen to just finished designing the base for this stripper as well so this is my take on the base for the odyssey dripper i will sell this for about maybe 500 pesos this is 3d printed and the material is pla since everyone said that this dripper is really fast i want to try it for myself so the fastest dripper that I have in my arsenal right now is this. This is the Orea version 4 and we are using the Apex Bottom. This should be quite an unfair um, comparison. We are just looking for how fast these drippers can draw down the water. I want to prepare all the materials that I need first before we do this comparison. So, I'm going to speed up this part. Alright, the coffee that we're going to use is coffee from About Nilo's Coffee Rosary. This is Colombia El Paraiso. Alright, so I'm going to weigh 13 grams for both of the coffees. Right, um, the paper that we used for the Aurea Apex is um, a Sangio paper filter, size 02. And the paper that we used for the um, ODZ dripper is the same brand, Sangio paper filter, but it's a size 01. So we are using the same coffee, same coffee grind size. Same paper filter, same water temperature. So we're using same everything except for the dripper itself that will dictate the speed of the drawdown. I'm gonna bloom it properly with 30 ml of water. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I'm going to measure 170 ml of water. Start. And I just dumped it over the ODZ dripper. Now I'm gonna measure another 170. And then I'm gonna dump it over the Orea. Alright, it took 36 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna dump it over here. Oh, wow! Okay, that f that was really close. The fight was really close. Um, okay, so the Orea V4 um, brought down all 170 ml of water in just 31 seconds, right here. And the ODZ dripper brought down all 170 ml of water in just 37 seconds. Now, let's inspect how the bed looks like. As you can see, the ODZ dripper has a lot of boulders and mid sizes on top. While most of the microfines, I think, are at the walls or under, maybe under. And the Orea, on the other hand, has a lot of uh, microfines on top. 
the boulders are not that visible and the mid-size are not that visible as well. Right, now I wanna try and taste both of them. These are both effortless brews, so we just dump we just dumped all the water on top of them with the proper bloom, of course. Let's try the Odyssey first because this one, um, we brewed this one first. Ooh, it has a very long aftertaste. It's impressive how long that, that finish is. I can actually sense florality and dark berries. Yes, there is dark berries, but I don't get the pineapple. Next, we're gonna try the Oreo. Oh, that's weird. Um, so even the Oreo finished um, faster. The Oreo, the coffee from Oreo has um, a drying finish, like your mouth is sticking together. That's that's how you describe um, mouth drying. Yeah, there is drying with the brew from the Oreo V4, and there is no. Pineapple as well. I'm getting dark berries. Mainly they differ in the finish. So this one, the, the, the coffee from the ODZ has a very long finish. Yeah, it really does. Um, it even erases the mouth drying of the coffee from the Orea. The Orea has more sweetness now, but still mouth drying. So that is how fast it is. So Imagine we only used a normal V60 paper. So we actually have a 60 degree angle. There's no fuss about it, no special folding. Um, yeah, we have minimal contact with the sides of the, of the dripper. And the air pockets, yeah, I think I would appreciate how, how, how they took the time of explaining the design of the dripper yeah the air pockets as you can see it actually it actually acted as an insulator indeed because you can see a lot of condensation on the sides of the air pockets and yeah here can you see i guess i'm gonna have to get myself one of these <laughs> Again, I want to thank Pose for lending me your very precious ODZ dripper. Um, this color is really nice. I really love it. And even the base. The base looks really nice. Um, thank you for lending me your dripper and trusting me that I'm not going to break it. <laughs> and yeah, so I guess the Oreo V4 has a pretty tight competition now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to rethink the whole favorite dripper situation now. Let me try one more. Oh, I'm getting pineapple now. Wow. Wow, that is crazy. I have an enveloping dark berry flavor. And then once you swallow, you get that pineapple and then a very sweet, um, long finish. Yeah, um, the Oreo V4 just tastes bland right now. The flavor already collapsed. Yeah, so that is the ODZ dripper. Um, if you want to get your hands on the ODZ dripper, you might want to visit Thailand and find one yourself because it's really hard to find. It. It's really hard to come by a shop that sells this. You can also message their official Instagram account and who knows, they might ship over to the Philippines. Yeah, but as for the situation here in the Philippines right now, there is no one that sells this um, ODZ dripper, right? Um, so that, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!